A sad day for CBS News, a sad day for the entire world of broadcast news. CBS announced tonight that Walter Cronkite, legendary anchor of the CBS Evening News from 1962, 1961 to roughly 1981, uh, he died today at the age of 92. We're pleased to be joined by Daniel Shore, a legendary CBS News correspondent uh, for 1950s and 1960s all the way through Watergate, who now works at NPR, but uh, he was, of course, a correspondent in Germany when Walter Cronkite was in the anchor chair, but most notably Daniel Shore was covering Washington and covering Watergate uh, when Walter, of course, was uh, in the anchor chair in the 1970s. And um, Daniel, uh, you, first of all, your thoughts on the passing of Walter Cronkite. Well, my thoughts, I mean, he, was, he represented an era. We used to call him Uncle Walter because we felt so close to him. He was sort of a, a journalist journalist. I mean, he didn't have any airs about him. Uh, he took everything as a job that he had to do. I think he'll be remembered by a great many people, um, among other things, for going to Vietnam after the Tet Offensive there, which didn't work. And he did a piece on camera, which he made clear. And he said, you know, as a reporter, I'm not supposed to give you my opinion, but I make a big exception. He said the war wasn't working, and the result was that President Johnson, as we later learned, said, we're finished there. If Walter Cronkite is speaking against it, the country will be against it. Daniel, what kind of um, managing editor or boss was Walter when you would call from Berlin or send your dispatches? Uh, describe the interaction when you were overseas and, and Walter was, was the anchor. Well, in overseas, overseas and here in Washington as well, my time was more or less split between the two. But Walter Cronkite wanted and asked for the title of managing editor of the program. He didn't want to be just another pretty face, although he was a good-looking fellow. He didn't want to be simply be handed copy all the time, and so. He made a point of saying, I'm not just the guy sitting here and you hand me a script and put it on a teleprompter. Uh, I am a reporter. He had been. He had worked in the early days for United Press during World War II in, in, um, in Moscow. Uh, and he eventually came to work for CBS. Uh, we used to meet with him. Uh, every year, all the correspondents from around the world would come in and do a program called Years of Crisis, which was a year-end review on CBS. Uh, originally, Ed Murrow was the anchor of it, and after Murrow, Walter Cronkite became that. And it was a, a, a thoroughly collegial, I guess that's the word I'd have to use, a thoroughly collegial experience. He never pulled rank, although he had a lot of rank. Um, and, and, and it was, uh, we got a job to do, fellas, let's do the job. And all of us felt that way about him. We're looking at uh, video of Walter Cronkite moderating uh, one of the famous, the uh, Nixon, uh, a famous, the uh, Nixon Kennedy uh, debate. Um, and so many people are familiar with that moment when Walter Cronkite took off the glasses on that uh, awful day in 1963 and announced that um, President Kennedy was dead. Yes. Did he talk much about it and the impact that that episode had on him, but also how he sort of put it in perspective in terms of, I mean, so many hundreds of millions of people have now seen that, and that was sort of woven into the collective memory of how so many Americans experienced right. the Kennedy assassination. Well, I think you said it very well. Uh, uh, Americans tended to see the world through, through Cronkite's eyes. Uh, and, and if Walter said it, it had to be so. And all this was of Uncle Walter, which is only half joking, but he was accepted as the presence who, who, when he said it, it was for real. He tried very hard not to let his emotions show. And the Kennedy assassination was one of the exceptions to it. I remember another exception during the, the Democratic uh, Convention in, in Chicago in 1968 when there were a lot of things going on, including the fact that the reporters on the floor were being roughed up by the police. And at one point they began pu pushing uh, Dan Rather around a little bit. And from his anchor booth, from his anchor booth, uh, Walter said, uh, the camera went down there, and Walter said, those thugs. And that was another thing we remember. He had to be really something of an occasion for Walter to let his hair down and say how he really felt as a human being. Uh, because as a, the kind of professional he was, is we just report the news. We don't let our emotion get in the way. Well, it didn't often. 
It was um, 28 years ago uh, when he retired back in uh, 1981. Um, were you surprised back then when he retired? And, and what do you know about his life since then? And, and how much contact uh, were you able to have? Well, I, 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 I don't know how much I want to get into inside uh, baseball at, at CBS. Uh, he was not very happy to retire. Uh, he would like to have given them two years more. Uh, then they put him to work on, on doing things for 60 minutes. But uh, he was like some of the rest of us. We, we, we don't like to retire. But uh, they wanted they wanted then to make room for Dan Rather. They wanted a younger face and so on. And so um, he went not gently into the good night. Your um, most uh, recent conversations with Walter Cronkite, and, and what is it as you think about uh, the next several days and all the collective memories that people will have, what will stand out in your memory? I haven't seen Walter for a very long time. As a matter of fact, I think the last time I saw him was when we ran, ran into him and in Martha's Vineyard and chatted for a few minutes. We were not what you would call very close friends. We had to go back and forth for dinner all the time. He was a professional colleague. And uh, all our relationships tended to be collegial. Well, Daniel Shore, we appreciate uh, you coming on and uh, being part of our uh, coverage tonight and uh, helping us uh, remember the uh, career of Walter Cronkite and what an impact that he had and you had and so many of your colleagues at CBS News um, and throughout the world of journalism who had the opportunity to, uh, to be part of that. And, and thanks again for being part of our coverage tonight. Again, CBS News announcing, that, announcing tonight that Walter Cronkite, the legendary news anchor of the CBS Evening News for nearly 20 years, he retired back in 1981, but he covered the Kennedy assassination. He covered Vietnam. He covered the okay. missions to the moon. He covered uh, politics and everything in between. Uh, 92 years old. He passed today. CBS News made the announcement within the past hour. We will have more on the life of Walter Cronkite after this.